Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm coming at you with a video of finally about uh, my hair. I said in a previous video, previous video, sorry, now I'm like touching it. What is it doing? I said in a previous video that I had filmed um, getting my hair colored. Um, and highlight it. Well, color and highlight it. Same thing. Um, so today I'm finally giving you that video. So excited. I think I'm going to do kind of a talk through over it, I think. So I wanted to first, of course, say hi <laughs> and show you my hair kind of as it is existing today. So here, I don't know if the light's really going to get it all. And then my phone started ringing. Okay, so phone calls. Whew. All right. So I was showing you <coughs> my hair. Sorry. So I don't know if the light's going to pick up all the dimension. But here it is. Let me show you the back. So before you judge me, um, this is a Bantu Not Out um, that I will be doing a video on. Although there are a thousand Bantu Not Out videos. Um, on YouTube, but that's okay. I'm gonna do my own. Um, this is a Bantu knot out that I just took out last night. So I did fluff it, but I didn't check the back like with a mirror because I'm lazy. And so when I turn around, there might be some kind of patchy spaces. So you know, just ignore that. But here's the hair. Here's the side. Yeah, so like I said, I got it cut um, in Cleveland in July. And then um, once I got home and started playing with the shape a little bit, I ended up cutting more myself down on the sides and in the back. And it's so uneven, but that's okay. One day I'll get it fixed when I want to wear it straight. And so, yeah, the salon I went to um, is called H2 Salon or H Squared Salon. It's in Brooklyn. I'll have the address and phone number in the description bar below. The uh, stylist that who colored my hair's name is Daigley. She is the owner of the salon. She's lovely. She's, had, she's done my hair before, um, like when I first uh, transitioned, she gave me my first like wash and go. Um, so I've known her for a while and I really really like her so definitely check um, the salon out if you're interested and also oh I wanted to say I recently cleared out my closet huge purge like I just have to get rid of some things my life was just way too cluttered so um, I'm actually selling them in conjunction with my girlfriend Danielle she has a fashion blog called Danny DK I'll link her blog down below she's super cute please check her out and then I also list she has stuff um, listed on Poshmark and mm, one other place but I'll be sure to link um, the place where you can find both stuff that I'm selling and stuff that she's selling down in the description bar below so please check that out alright guys thanks stay tuned hope you love the video and I'll see you next time bye okay guys I'm gonna try and give a little talk through um, while we watch what daily is doing to my hair so first off when you go to get your hair colored you have to let your stylist know the last time that you had color on your hair if you are like for instance rinsing your hair black and you want to go blonde uh, you definitely need to let them know because it will affect the way that the bleach um, you know works on your hair so you have to definitely let them know what you're doing so first we started off by lightening uh, the whole front of the head where we were later going to put the highlights she just kind of went through um, with some bleach and lightened the front half of my head that we were gonna color yeah So I'm a big fan of lightening 
the front half of the hair or wherever it is that you're going to add highlights especially blonde highlights as the hair grows out that color that was lightened will lighten with the sun and just natural washing and it gives the hair as the color grows just a very natural ombre effect and the color that I have still that you can see here on the uh, on the ends of my hair whoop, tangle the ends of my hair there that's just from the last time that I had my hair highlighted that's I had the whole front lightened and it just ended up growing out into a very nice ombre that I really liked. So don't skip that step guys. Okay, so after we go in and lighten the whole front of the head, you have to, of course, rinse that bleach out and then come back and blow dry the hair because you can only lay color on dry hair. So here, this is after my first shampoo and I'm just getting a quick little blowout by one of the other girls that works in the salon. And you can kind of see here how <laughs> crooked my haircut is because I've been cutting on it myself, so. Don't judge me. And now the fun part is almost ready to start. So daily um, started by sectioning my hair because of course sectioned hair is much easier to work with. I need to find out where she got those big pink clamps from because they were kind of amazing. And so, okay, we started laying the uh, highlights in the back, so you can't really see it. I we wait. I get footage of her as we move around to the front, but she kind of takes a section and then kind of randomizes that section and lays some of those hairs, you know, down to keep their regular color, and then lays the other, the kind of randomized pieces onto the foil and lays uh, bleach on top of them. She did work with a couple of different levels um, of uh, developer so that the color would have, the highlights would have some variation into them. They aren't just all the same color and the same tone. Uh, so that's what we're doing now and that is the part that takes kind of a long time. So we just start at the back and slowly move our way to the front. Lots of aluminium, aluminium. That's how they say it in Britain. Aluminium foil. <laughs> I struggle with that. <laughs> As I watch the clip back now, it looks like she's hurting me, <laughs> but I promise she's not. Those are just hilarious beauty shop stories that are happening, and that's my laughing face, but sped up, it looks kind of pained. So <laughs> just know that she's not hurting me. That's my scary laughing face. It's so weird to watch yourself back, just like staring out into nothingness, but what else do you do in the beauty salon? I will say though, that the jams were jamming. Like, I don't know what Pandora station or Spotify station these ladies have working on in the salon, but it's kind of great. So what Daly did was as she was laying the color, so you can see in the back that the aluminum foil is gone so we were rinsing the uh, developer and the bleach out in sections so she just kind of worked on one section until it got to a color where she felt good and then she would take me back to the shampoo bowl rinse that and then we would come back um, and do the next section so that's what you kind of see here so the back is done um, it hasn't had any uh, toner on it yet so the color is kind of wonky looking um but we she did work really fast and i got there at i think six o'clock at night and was out of there before nine so yeah she was pretty fast
so you can kind of see here how she's taking a section and then she kind of go through goes through and pulls out random pieces from that section separates it lays some down and then lays some on the foil and what she puts on the foil is what she puts um, the color on and so that's how you get that great like variation in color I mean duh most of you guys know this already from watching people dye wigs and it's basically the same thing when you're working on your own hair so we just keep going until we've um, got that whole head complete and then for the next part we go over to the shampoo bowl and we kind of just shampoo it in sections just the way that we did the rest and here is the final um color so this is after toner and i she put some leave-in conditioner and i sat under the dryer um, for a while to at least dry that front half. It's still a little wet on the sides. Um, and she went through with a blow dryer. So it's kind of a wash and go just with a ton of conditioner. So she went through and stretched out front roots to kind of exaggerate my kind of tapered haircut and to really, you know, put a little style on that front half. So I was really happy. Yeah, I'm also telling her here that I've never gotten my hair to be like this nice on a wash and go. It just never works for me. But now that I saw that she can do it, I'm kind of determined to try it again myself. My, whenever I do a wash and go, it just poofs into an afro. There's no curl. So yeah, you can kind of see that, that one side, uh, from here it's the left side. The left side is still a little bit wet, it's still hanging a little bit darker. And then here's where she's saying like, girl, you need a haircut because your hair is uneven because <laughs> you've been cutting it yourself. Um, yeah, so here's my finished hair. I love it. I'm going to insert a picture of... Um, the picture that I used uh, for inspiration mine isn't as light as the girls in that picture but she did say that you know if you go too light too fast you can mess up your curl pattern so I will be back for another round and I'm just fluffing and admiring my lightened hair yeah so that's pretty much it guys again thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Bye.